This is the Robo Cassette Master speaking. I am not the ordinary cassette master that you have seen in all the other videos. I am a robot version of the cassette master. I am a robot and I have artificial intelligence. I look human, but I am bot. I am a robot. A humanoid robot. Hi, this is Robotic Master. And um, I'm making this um, video here as I'm a robot. And I look at the oscilloscope in the background and you can see my robotic voice coming through on the scope. See? This is coming right off my um, sound card on my computer. And it is my voice signals coming through. And um, this is uh, then sent to the amplifier, which drives a speaker, which is inside um, my uh, artificial throat, and comes out my artificial robotic mouth. Okay, anyway, there's a circuit I found on the internet, and I um, hope they don't. I hope no one goes like, oh my gosh, you, you're copping off of them for showing it on a video and all that. My little jumbo, but, you know, it's, um, it's a robot voice effects circuit that I found on the internet. And of course, the screen does its thing, camera-wise, not life-wise. But it's a pretty neat little circuit to be able to have a robotic voice. And um, the main website here is Electrotech Online. And then there's an absolute ton of stuff that I don't want to go to the trouble of trying to read out. Plus, it's getting blurry. This is a direct upload, by the way. Because um, I can easily get the audio directly into the computer. Whenever I do Windows Movie Maker, the audio comes through the FireWire digitally. I think digitally because it doesn't come live. But here I can do the audio live and do a regular um, audio input, and I have my robotic voice coming through. Now do you want to take a, this, a look at the circuit built on the breadboard? I was hoping I could do a robo burp, but that didn't work out. <clears throat> Here's a, these are the circuit. Um, over here, I have the signal going into the scope, and then over here, I have the signal going into the computer. Here's the signal coming in from the microphone preamp, and right there is the microphone preamp. Um, it's a nice little circuit. Dark on the um, screen, obviously. It's not as that. It's not that dark in real life. Get some light on here. How about this light? Uh, a little bit, maybe a little better. Can see the circuit train? I believe they made a mistake on the, on the schematic of the polarity of this capacitor right here, this 220 microfarad. I switched it around, it did not blow. I didn't try putting it in the way they had it on the schematic, it just seemed wrong. It just seemed to switch around. But, um, it's pretty nice. There's the multivibrator section. And there's the rest right there. My camera has a low battery. Almost dead. By the way, this breadboard is an EIC breadboard, model EIC-106. Or oh, this is an EIC-106 breadboard. Here's my home-built power supply. Built by a robot with artificial intelligence, which is me, a robot. No, I'm really a human, but I'm a robot. There's another power supply I built earlier. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty neat building power supplies. That's the um, voltage, and that's the amperage. 0.02 amps, so that would be about 20 milliamps. It's got two power supplies built in. And um, right here is uh, my Sanyo M2533 cassette recorder. Not shown in slim mode like the presentation video I did of it. It's shown in slim mode and not accurate, but here it is. I like to use this for recording electronic project stuff. 
And I did record the effects of the robot on here. So all the sound in this video is coming through the robot sound. seeing those components and, and the breadboard and everything. It's just amazing. Anyway, um, let's come through the scope. Let's get a good another view, view of the scope here. The nice oscilloscope. And you can see all the weird looking waveform that comes through. Let's pick up close to the microphone. Waveform that comes through. robot circuit here to make my voice sound like a robot.